CEO of Turkish Aerospace Industries Temel Kotal unveiled that they are working in partnership with Pakistan Aeronautics Complex on a stealth fighter that will be designed to meet the criteria of fifth-generation fighter aircraft requirement of Turkish Air Force and Pakistan Air Force. The designation Turkish Pakistani fighter was used to refer to the product under development with a scale model as a reference during the interview. This can be assumed as the first official confirmation on the news that ally states have collaborated their fifth-generation fighter development programs, TFX, Turkey, and Project Azam, Pakistan, to share development work on the concept of such class. Back in 2017, Sohail Aman said, We are integrating our technology with friendly countries, including Turkey. We are thinking of producing the next-generation aircraft by pooling resources with them. For this, the basic framework and agreements have been made. The baseline is that we have to develop high-end technology ourselves. Of course, the American and Western technologies are better, but if it is unavailable, then we have to make the best use of our own capabilities and our friends. I consider it a breach of promise on their part because the United States promised to co-fund this operation as part of its foreign military assistance. They didn't adhere to this promise, which is very sad. As a responsible nation, you don't do this. American funding for F-16s would have been a win-win situation for both. While that happened, we kept looking at other options. I think we have some of the leading options both in China and Russia. We are also collaborating with Turkey for developing a next-generation aircraft. The Pakistan Air Force has formally announced it will commence development of a fifth-generation fighter, medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle and munitions under the banner of Project Azam. In the past several years, several factors emerged which analysts thought would shape the PAF next-generation fighter pursuits, most notably the rise of the FC-31 Jurfalcon. While the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation is clearly progressing in developing the fighter, it is unclear if the PAF will pursue it. If not the FC-31, then realistically only two other alternate courses remain, the TAI-TFX and an original design. Pakistan has been billed as a prospective partner in the TFX, Turkey's next-generation fighter effort. On repeated occasions since 2016, Turkish government and industry and Pakistan officials confirmed the link. However, the Pakistan statements regarding the matter had only verified Ankara's invitation, but it was unclear if the approach was commercially oriented or in relation to possible PAF procurement. The PAF itself did not comment on TFX, but aviation journalist Alan Warnes, who is directly in touch with the PAF, reported in May that the TFX is likely to figure in the PAF's new generation fighter requirement. This will help in reducing design and development timeline as funds management will be easy and the expertise of engineers from each country will be employed to produce an aircraft analogous to F-22, J-20, and Su-57, developed by the US, China, and Russia respectively, major powers on the globe and established players in the aviation industry. The program will subsequently lead to the production of dedicated variants derived from a single platform, customized slash modified as per the needs specified by partners. This may include variations in avionics, structure, weapon packages, or more. The British Aerospace System had joined the TFX program in 2015 as a consultant for design work while another British company, Rolls-Royce has agreed to develop and supply a derivative of the EJ200 turbofan engine for TFX. Turkey is still seeking more partners for the program to successfully execute the program from drawing board to proper product. This was done via participation of the firm and display of mock-up in various airshows, latest includes Singapore Airshow 2022. Pakistan's FGFA work was announced in 2017 under Project ASM, completed by the development of indigenous UAVs and other combat solutions. While the last update was in 2021 regarding progress in the stage of the preliminary design phase, it is now confirmed that Pakistan will go ahead in partnership with Turkey instead of independently pursuing the aspiration of absorbing a next-generation fighter aircraft. 
As per official specifications, TFX TPF will be a twin-engine, all-weather multi-role fighter, possessing abilities of supercruise, stealth, and internal bomb bay that will also serve as a low-cost choice of Western counterparts. Phase 1 Stage 2 involves detailed design and qualifications carried out in the 2022-2029 period. The aircraft will roll out in 2023, critical design review activities will be carried out in 2024, the production of the first aircraft, called Block Zero, will be completed in 2025, and the first flight will be accomplished in 2026. Until that date, Turkish Aerospace Industries aims to manufacture three prototypes. The Block 1 configuration is planned to be developed until 2029. Manufacture of 10 Block 1 fighter jets are planned within the scope of Phase 2, and aircraft will be delivered to the Turkish Air Force between 2030 and 2033. In Phase 3, between 2034 and 2040, development and mass production activities of other TFX blocks is planned.